Yes, my peoples, it's T, and today, as promised, I'll be showing you the four quick shots from the DJI Mavic Mini. How to perform those, how they look, and anything else that I decide to do whilst we're shooting the video, basically. So enjoy, and let's get it. All right, so as you can see, I have the drone on top of my helipad, um, and I'm about to take off. So this is now take off. As you can see, we have taken off and we can and we can see everything through the viewpoint. Lots of views here. Um, now I'm gonna land it back. And this is how you land, press that button there. It may struggle a little bit because it's very windy. Very windy, but I gave it a bit of help there. A little bit of help and there we go landed perfectly cool so now i'm gonna perform some the features the shots that comes with this particular drone so it's very windy now very windy as you can as you can see the drone is struggling struggling right now um so this is probably not the best time to perform this this but um in the fhd button if you click that you, have, you can see there's quick shots and in quick shots, these are the four features today that I will show you. So we have Droney. This is the first one I'm gonna do. So I'll click start on Droney. And essentially now you need to choose a target and that target is gonna be, even though it's very windy, that target is gonna be me. Um, so I'm gonna stand back a little bit. I'm gonna click this plus button here. And that means the target is me. And now the drone will fly around me in a droney function automatically so sorry it will go back at speed and height and as you can see that's a droney that's a droney where it goes away away from the subject and then it will come back towards the subject now obviously in post production you can speed it up so it looks like a really beautiful shot and as you can see the drone has come back towards me so that's Shot number one, droney. Okay, so going back into quick shots, rocket. So this is where the drone will take off away from the subject at height. Again, you select your you select your subject and then you click start. Very simple. And now the drone will just take off at height instead, and the camera will automatically adjust to stay in the focus of the subject again right now this looks slow but in pro production you can change this and you can speed it up and again make some beautiful beautiful shots um, so it looks like things are moving quickly and get some nice transitions between different subjects okay so it should be returning um, however winds are strong and signal got lost temporarily there signal is actually still lost <laughs> so the drone is not returning right now um, so yep I'll bring it back down manually and as you can see I'm just pushing the propeller down and it's coming back to me manually okay lots of sugar there with the wind cool so let me just put this camera back up all right so now performing circle so this is the circle shot as you can see um, I'm gonna put it at this angle I'm gonna put the camera down a little bit and this is how you perform, this is how you set up the circle shot again simple just just tap your subject tap your subject um, oh. let me get out of the way of that button tap the subject click start and now in three, two, one, I can actually put the controller down and again, it will automatically circle the subject, which is me. And you can see Sadia in the camera as well there. <laughs> and there we go. That is circle. This is a very, very useful um, shot that you can use 
um, just to capture your surroundings, a little 360. Of course, you can change the settings so it goes further away and circle. You can circle from a higher angle as well so you can actually see more of your surroundings. So that was shot number four. And the final shot we're gonna perform is Helix. Now again, you select your target, click start. And now this shot should circle and go higher and higher each time. So let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. And this is gonna be a wide one. It's gonna get further and further away. And I think this is, this is actually, a, this is a beautiful shot when this actually comes out in post-production. There we go. And again, that was small helix. You can actually adjust it so it's a bigger helix, a bigger area, and you can see more of your surroundings. So that's the four quick shots that are available on a DJI Mavic Mini. And thank you for watching. <laughs> Hopefully this has given you some simple instructions on how to perform these shots on your drone if you have anything similar. And you can use these as inspiration for ideas to create some beautiful shots for your videos. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace.